Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quidash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also, those that believe the brothers and sisters upon the names Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, and all fear shall want. And the elder shall serve the younger. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. And that comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 25, and I'm going to start at 21. And it reads, And Isaac entreated the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for his wife, because she was barren. And the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. All right, so Isaac went and plead and prayed to the Lord and begged the Lord for his wife to have a child. And the Most High granted that wish of Isaac to have a child by Rebekah or to open up Rebekah's womb. That's why the scripture says, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. The Most High opened up her barren, and barren means closed, womb, and she conceived a child. But um, Rebekah had twins, all right, and not just one child. And those two children are the beginning of two nations, all right? And those two nations are the primary characters of the King James Version, all right? It says, Genesis 25 and 22, And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, so it turned out to be uh, two children in the womb of Rebekah, and the two children were, were what? Struggling in the womb. All right, and that's the beginning of the two nations, and that struggle continues to the day. All right, and that struggle is between uh, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, which represents the children of Jacob. All right which are the, the Hebrew Israelites, okay? And the, the children of Esau, all right, which are you so-called modern-day white people, all right? That struggle between you and uh, the tribes continue to this day, all right? It says, verse 23, And the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, all right? So the so-called modern-day white man and the so-called modern-day uh, brown skin, um, or different shades of brown men, okay, which are the tribes. It says, And the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And that's right. We are two manner of people. The so-called modern-day white race is uh, the race of, of evilness, and we are the race of righteousness. Now, two-thirds of our people right now represents evilness because they are not righteous, all right? But the elect, uh, which are the believers of the uh, modern-day Israelites, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are righteous. Why? Because we are following Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. It says, two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. That's right, righteous and evil. It says, and the one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. And that's right. It is obvious uh, who is the elder and who is the youngest, all right? Because you tribes are stronger than the so-called modern-day white man, all right? Prime example, the sports world, all right? Uh, another example of us being stronger, um, the acting world, okay? Or any other genre that... Any of, the any of the tribes want to um, venture off into, they make it better because they are the salt of the earth, all right? And the elder would be who? Esau, okay? Because the, the elder, all right, is ruling the world, okay? It says, and when, there, and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were two twins in her wombs, all right? So she had twins instead of one child it says and the first came out red okay all over like and hairy garment and they called his name esau and that would be the forefather of you so-called modern day white people all right it says and after that 
came his brother out, okay? And his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bared them, all right? So the elder would be who? Uh, the so-called modern-day white race, all right? Because their forefather is Esau, which makes them the modern-day Edomites, all right? And the younger, which came out, would be Jacob. Now, Jacob's name later on was changed to Israel. That's why we are the Israelites, because we come, we stem from the 12 sons of Israel, all right, which brought forth the 12 tribes, okay? All, uh, all so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans on down to the so-called Mexicans are from different tribes, all right, beginning with the tribe of, of what? Judah, which are the so-called modern-day Negro, all right? So the elder would be the white race, all right, and the younger would be the Israelites, Okay, and now we're living in the times where, what, the elder shall serve the younger, like Genesis 25 and 23 says. All right, because Genesis 25 and 26 tells us, once again, and after that came his brother out. All right, so our forefather came out, Jacob, which later on name was changed to Israel. And his hand took hold of Esau's heel. All right, so we're, that symbolically uh, represents that the elder shall serve the younger, which this was predestinated from the most high from the beginning that the so-called modern day white man would be the, the the slaves of of all times all right the so-called modern day white man came out a slave all right because the most high said and the elder shall serve the younger all right so from the beginning it was meant for the so-called modern day white race all right to be slaves all right now let's jump from there and let's get Second Ezra six and verse six it says, Then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone, and through none other. By me also they shall be ended, and by none other. Alright? Verse seven it says, Then answer I and said, what shall be the pardon asunder of these times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follows? That's right. So when is going to be the end of, of wickedness, all right? And righteousness is going to follow that wickedness, all right? This was the question asked. And it says, And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. So, from that time, all right, it was already predestinated for, for wickedness to rule at the end, all right? Therefore, righteousness can follow it, all right? Who is the wicked? By our process of elimination, Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked. Who is the wicked? The wicked elites, because they run the world, all right? And their bloodline stems back to Esau, which makes them the heads of the so-called modern-day white people, which are Edomites, all right? And from the beginning... When our forefather, Jacob, all right, which name was later on changed to Israel, held his heel, it was already uh, really written in stone that we was what? Was going to rule in these times, meaning the times where wickedness was going to flourish. Wickedness was going to be at its pinnacle, which is the, the so-called modern-day white man ruling the earth. All right, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So it says, and he said unto me, from Isaac unto from Abraham unto Isaac, Salakia, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So meaning Esau is the end of the world, all right? So we're living in the end of, of the world, world meaning rulership or age or dynasty, you know, and that's uh, uh, the wicked's rule, all right? We're at the end of the world because the wicked is ruling all right which means our kingdom is up next okay that's what that means our kingdom is up next and the most high has put this devil into a trick bag because this devil think that he's going to rule in wickedness forever all right the, the book of job 12 and 16 tells us that um with the most high is, is strength and wisdom and the deceiver and the deceived is in his hand, roughly paraphrasing, all right? So the Most High 
it has uh, deceived this devil in thinking that his wicked rule, all right, was going to be forever, all right, because the Most High preordained this devil to be the devil, all right, and for us to be the righteous, okay, in the book of, book of Romans, Romans chapter 9 tells us that, all right, the book of Romans chapter 9, And starting at, starting at verse 10, it says, And not only this, but when Rebecca also have conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, verse 11, for the children being not yet born, all right, Jacob and Esau, it says, neither having done any good or evil. See? Neither having done any good or evil. So, it was already preordained by the Most High because they hadn't committed an act yet, all right? But it was already preordained by the Most High who is going to be who, all right? Because remember, two nations, all right, were separated from her bowels. It says that the purpose of the Most High according to election might stand, see? Not of works, but of him that calleth, see? Not of anything that they did, but it was preordained by the Most High. All right, that the purpose, all right, of 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 of, of election might stand. All right, that his people uh, uh, will be known. All right, at at that time. All right, and the wicked will be known at that time. All right, verse twelve again. All right, because this is iterating the book of Genesis. All right, chapter twenty fifth. It was said unto her by the Most High, the elder shall serve the younger. So. It was preordained by the Most High. It says, verse 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. All right. So and the book of Malachi speaks of that. All right. So the Most High hates you so-called modern day white people. And he loved you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans on down to you Mexicans. All right. And they have exalted themselves above you. The book of Luke. Um, Luke chapter 14 and 11, it says, for whosoever exalteth himself shall be obeyed, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. So he that humbleth himself shall be exalted, and who that exalted himself shall be obeyed. And Esau Edom, through the Most High, setting this man up uh, uh, in the position that he's in, not him setting himself up, that gives him uh, a level of pride when he think that he have done it, all right? So he have exalted him own self. Now we're living in the times where Esau Edom is going to bring their new world order, their RFID chip, to ultimately exalt himself above the Most High, all right? Trying to be like the Most High, trying to be greater than the Most High, but it's not going to happen, all right? That's why they're going to be abased. Um, the book of Obadiah, Obadiah, Verse 3 tells us the pride of thine heart, all right, the pride of, of the mind of Esau, have deceived thee. Thou that dwelleth in the cliffs of the rocks, whose inhabitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? See, that's the most high having this devil in a trick bag, all right? Because remember, Job uh, 12 and 16, all strength and wisdom is with the most high, the deceived and the deceiver. All right, it is his. All right, it, they're in, in his hand, roughly paraphrasing. All right, so the Most High have put the pride in the heart, all right, in the mind of Esau, thinking that no one is going to bring him down out of that wicked place that he sit, all right, which he sit in rulership, but he's ruling the world in wickedness, okay? And, and these are the times that we're living in where the, the, uh, the elder shall serve the younger because Esau came out first, Jacob came out second, which represents Esau being in rulership, all right, at, at this disappointed time. So, therefore, we know that this is the end of the world because Esau is, is at the pinnacle of, of wickedness. And we know that our kingdom, all right, is at hand, okay, because the book of um, Galatians 6 and 7 tells us, be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked, all right? So be not led out of the path of truth, all right? Being deceived, 
And once you be deceived, you being led out off the path of truth. So be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So we all know what Esau Edom has reaped. All right. He's 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 being wicked by being proud, saying that nobody is going to take him out of this rulership seat that he's in. All right. And that's the Most High putting that upon his mind. So the Most High can be justified when he destroyed these devils through Yahweh Shai and the rest of the angels, accompanied by the way of 200 million missiles, all right? But also the deeds that this devil has done, which, you know, being proud is a deed, but the things that he have done to the apple of the Most High's eye. Also, the Most High set him up to do these things so it could be justified to take him out of rulership. Obadiah, verse 10, it says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, Shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right, so shame is covering this devil because everything, matter of fact, it says, uh, when you jump up, verse 6, how are the things of Esau searched out, and how are his hidden things saw up? Because the Most High put the Spirit upon his prophets to ID the wicked. All right, now the things of Esau is being sought up through the Spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah upon his men. All right, and that's the beginning of his downfall, and that's uh, 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 revealing him, all right? And that's why shame is covering him, revealing all of the, the deep, dark things that he has done. He and they are still doing right now in this present day, you know, and his sin is, is being seen. And that's why this devil is going to be brought out of power. But it was already ordained by the Most High from the beginning that this devil be the wicked. All right. That this devil come out first, that this devil is going to sell his birthright. See, all of this was ordained by the Most High. That's why the scripture tells us. Uh, in Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived. The Most High is not marked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. It says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And that's pertaining to who? Esau. All right, Esau blessing is the sword he have led you so-called negroes latinos and native americans into captivity with that sword and by that same sword all right he's going to be taken down now the modern day sword would be a gun all right or a knife or, or or a large knife all right or any type of weapon that esau can come up with but the ultimate sword is the intercontinental ballistic missiles and that's how esau is going to be taken out all right. Also by those lasers being zapped upon this place, upon the wicked and the proud, by Yahweh Shai and the rest of the angels. But they're going to be accompanied by the way of 200 million missiles once again. All right. So Esau is going to get taken down. All right. By the sword. Because he, he got to reap what he what he have sown. See, and, he, and Esau is going to be taken into what? Captivity by us. See, um, Isaiah 14. And two, it says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were. See, we just read it in Revelation 13, 9 and 10. All right. And who, who, who uh, we are still in this man's hand. All right. They have not let us loose. See, this is that bloody city. That Nahum speaks about. So we're going to take them captive, which is take Esau Edom captives. All right, remember, this is the end of Esau Edom's rulership in the beginning of ours. It says, and they shall rule over their oppressor. And who is the ultimate oppressor? The wicked elites. See? And it says, the house of Israel shall do this. No other nation. So the nation of Israel shall be, what, set up next. Verse 3, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. What is that rest from thy sorrow? Having these curses upon us. See? And from thy fear and from the hard bondage. See? Slavery. That's that cup. It says, Wherein thou hast made, thou was made to serve. All right? So in that cup, all right, that, that hard bondage. It's going to pass to you devils. See? Because you you are the uh, uh, the next uh, slaves, all right? And, and we are the next rulers. Everything's going to be vice versa. Everything's going to switch up. You're going to reap what you sow. See? Um, the book of... The book of uh, Deuteronomy, 
all right, chapter 30, because we speak about that cup, all right, of that, that hard abundance that we have served, these curses that we're on, when they leave us, they got to go somewhere. And they're going to who? The so-called modern-day white people, starting with the top-tier elites. Deuteronomy 30 and 7, And the Lord, Yehovah by Hashem, Yehovah Shai, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemy. All right, who is our number one enemy? Esau, the so-called modern-day white race, starting with the top-tier elites. So the Most High is going to take these curses once he take them off of us and put them on our enemies and on them that hate thee. All right, and Esau, Edom, hate us the most. The so-called modern-day white race hate you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. On down to you so-called Mexicans the most. All right? It says, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. See? All of the things that Esau, Edom have done to his brother. Shame is going to cover them, man. All right? The cup is going to pass over unto them. All right? Lamentation uh, 4 and verse... 21, it says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, you, you Edomites. This is the time that you should rejoice because you're at the end of your kingdom. You're at the end of your rulership. All right? That dwelleth in the land of Uz, the cup, which is slavery, also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. See? Your sin is going to be seen. All right? Your shame is going to be seen because you're going to be naked. All right? Which is sin. See that? And this is the last time that we're going to uh, 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 have to endure that cup because the curses have got to go somewhere when they leave off from, off from us, you know. Verse 22, it says, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. The punishment of thine sin is accomplished. O daughter of Zion, you Israelites, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. Esau. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. See that? So that's that shame, man, that's, that's going to be seen, all right? The sin that Esau and Edom have committed, for going all the way back to, 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 to their forefather, uh, Cain, because Cain came back in the reincarnation as Esau. And our righteous brother Abel, which Cain shed his blood, our righteous uh, forefather Abel came back as who? Jacob. See that? So the elder shall, what, serve the younger. Due to the due to the wickedness, all right, of of the 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 uh, elder, all right, and mainly because he was preordained, all right, to be the wicked and uh, to be the first slaves and to be in rulership in these times, all right. So we can measure the times, all right. So you know, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai Waha Rakah Quidash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopefully let DTA Wa Ababa Ball.